Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. In today's video, we are going to learn how to calculate the average rate of the reaction in general and also using the numerical. So this is a question that we are going to solve. So let us first understand how do you calculate the average rate of the reaction. Average rate of the reaction. Okay, let us consider a general reaction that is reactant A is getting converted to product P. So suppose I want to write down the question says that we have to find out the rate of disappearance of A that is reactant. Rate of disappearance of average rate of disappearance of A that is the reactant that will be in general we write minus change in concentration of the reactant divided by change in time. Now what why I have added this negative sign? Because the first thing is rate the value of rate that cannot be positive. This cannot be cannot be negative sorry it, it should be what it should be positive it cannot be negative. So if you see here this red curve is the rate concentration of reactant. This is graph of concentration versus time. So as the time passes, you can see the concentration of reactant is decreasing. So if you do the change, that is the final concentration minus the initial concentration, you will find that final concentration is the lower value because the reactant is getting used up in the reaction. So final value is lower and initial value will be higher. So overall this value will be negative. But rate cannot be negative. So we multiply it by negative sign. So this negative into this negative should become positive. Okay, so this is the reason why we multiply the rate of disappearance of reactant. In this we have this negative sign. Now suppose the question is find out the average rate of appearance of product or formation of product formation of product p here there will be no negative sign because the concentration of product is what it is increasing so final minus initial value will be positive concentration of product by delta t and there is one change if there is any stoichiometric coefficient we add here x and y we write it in the denominator. What are x and y? x and y are the stoichiometric coefficients. Stoichiometric coefficients of reactant or product in the balanced equation. What is the meaning of stoichiometric coefficient? The number that we write before the reactant to balance it. Let's say 1a and this is 3p. Okay, so this will be what? This will be 1 into delta t and this will be 3 into delta t stoichiometric coefficients of reactant or product in a balanced equation it's very important in a balanced reaction okay now let us understand this with the help of this question calculate the average rate of disappearance of a from 20 second to 40 second and initial concentration of reactant is given that is one molar and final concentration of uh, reactant A is given. This is at 20 seconds. This is at 40 seconds and this is at 20 seconds. So how do you find out the rate of average rate of disappearance of reactant? Average rate of disappearance of A will be of reactant A will be minus of final concentration of A at 40 seconds minus the initial concentration of A at 20 seconds divided by change in time that is T2 minus T1 final time minus initial time. So this will be minus initial concentration is final concentration is 0.5. So this will be 0.5 minus one unit is molar divided by t2 minus t1 final time is 40 second initial is 20 
So 40 minus 20 unit is seconds. So this if you solve is this is what I was saying minus 0.5 minus 1 will be minus 0.5. So minus into minus 0.5 divided by 40 minus 20 is 20. Okay, so this if you solve it comes out to be this minus into minus becomes plus. So that is why we add a negative sign. The answer is 0 0.025 molar per second. Okay, now let us write down the general rate, general expression for average rate of the reaction for this equation, for this reaction that is given. General expression for the average rate. This will be first we write down for the reactants that is rate is equal to minus change in concentration of reactant A divided by its stoichiometric coefficient that is 3 dt is equal to minus change in concentration of reactant B divided by its stoichiometric coefficient into dt is equal to plus now we write down for the product change in concentration of product C divided by its stoichiometric coefficient is 5 dt is equal to plus change in concentration of D over 7 dt. So here we come to the end of this video. I hope you have understood how to calculate the average rate of reaction. In the next video, we will solve some question based on graph. Okay, if the graph is given and some values are given, they ask to find out what is average rate or instantaneous rate that we will see in the next video. Thank you.